This could be ruining your mixes in Ableton. So watch me until the end to make sure you get a clean, crisp mix without any distortion or clipping. So if you just listen to this mix, you can see that pretty much every track is in the green. Maybe this one here isn't, so let's just bring that bit down. So every track is in the green and the main looks like it's in the green and everything looks fine. But actually, everything is not fine. So let's just take a look at this first synth track and we'll solo it. And if we explore the signal chain here, you can see that the VST instrument is actually clipping into the red. But even though it's doing that, you can see on the track, it's actually still green. So what's going on? What's happening is that the second audio effect on the signal chain is compensating for the clipping and making it look like it's not clipping, but it still is clipping. It's just hidden from the signal chain. So what's actually happening underneath the hood, if we go into the VST instrument, we can see that the gain on the instrument is too high. And we can also see that the reduction on the subsequent audio effect is low. And a lot of these instruments and effects have their own gain knob. So it's something to be really careful about is what is the gain on your instrument and audio effect? In this case here, it's not good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to Diva here and we're going to just reduce that to a normal output amount. Now let's have a look at the signal. That looks a bit better. On the effect chain, we're just going to increase the gain there. So that's fixed that track up. However, if we just listen to all the tracks together, everything looks nice and good, but actually, actually happening here is the actual master track here is going into the red. You can't see it because the volume on the master track is so low. Let's just bring that back to zero. Because what that means is even though you can affect your overall volume signal, it will unfortunately include some clipping from the overall combination of the tracks. So the best way to do that is to select a track here like this and then select all by pressing control A. And then we're going to reduce the volume of all of the tracks by a certain amount. So let's do it by 6 dB. And by doing it on one, it will do it on all because you've linked them together by selecting all. And now when you look at the master, it looks a lot better. And if we want a little bit of extra headroom, we can even reduce it more. So we'll say reduce this one to minus 16. And what that does is by giving you the extra headroom, you know you're not clipping, but then you can push the limiter a bit higher. 